Hi, welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here then welcome, my name's Simone. Today I'm going to do a 32 week update. This week has been full of symptoms to be honest. I think last week I told you that my iron levels had increased so I've not been feeling as tired as usual but there have been a few other symptoms and um, some some viewers might not like it you know um, it might be too much information so obviously if you if you don't like that type of thing then you this video might not be for you but I just wanted to be totally honest especially for women who you know may be experiencing what I am and thinking that it's not normal or um, you know just just I just wanted to just share really what I've been experiencing so um, I told you about the hemorrhoids last time and they've all cleared up which is fantastic but I would say down there I'm having like quite a lot of pressure I think I told you that we're in the process of moving so I've been doing a lot of cleaning and I've been trying not to lift a lot of heavy stuff but um, there has been some occasions where I have been like lifting some boxes and I felt like there has been like more like pressure down there not pain but like pressure when I went to the midwife a couple of weeks ago I don't know if I told you this but I did ask is it normal for you to feel pressure down there and is it normal for it to feel quite swollen because that's one thing that I was really surprised about I'd never experienced that before to be honest without being crude it just felt like it was like bulging down there just very swollen and engorged and she said that it was totally normal and then when I went online I'd read that other women are, are, are experiencing that as well so so I've been having that and then the weather again it has been it's increasingly getting hotter over here in England and my brother was telling me that apparently it's like the hottest it's been since like 1976 or something it's it's just been extreme and the house has the sun shining on it all day so it's quite hot until like 10 o'clock at night and we've not got air conditioning so we've got all the windows open and everything but I think what's happened is with the move it, moving um, like the stress and everything else it's led to me getting some incontinence, incontinence as well um, I didn't really notice it that much I thought or oh, maybe I'm just sweating and you know when I've been walking around and things like that but as I I started getting um, like you know chafing so it was written really sore at the top of my top of my thighs it looked kind of like nappy rash if you will I think and again I've, I've read that that's totally normal in pregnancy as well so I put some shea butter on and it seemed to really help it and I've just been trying to stay as cool as possible but I think with the sweating, getting hot, the hormones and then obviously like the incontinence it's, it caused the chafing so yeah my remedy for that at the moment is shea butter, um, staying as cool as possible and um, I've also been using some pads on occasion as well so I don't think the incontinence is really bad but I was reading that it can hap happen if you're over 35 which I am and obviously the hormone levels and if you are lifting heavy things it said and if you're running and even walking well it does seem to happen when that happens but I wouldn't say like it's like a big gush or anything it's just you know I've just noticed it so um I also have been doing some pelvic floor exercises because I'm guilty of not really doing them after the previous um, birth that much and I've not really been doing anything um, with this pregnancy so I'm going to give that a go to see if that will help because I'm just concerned that obviously if I do um, give birth naturally that's obviously going to put more stress down there and I don't want to be having any problems in future so this is just something new that I've been researching so if there's any ladies that are watching this and they've experienced it and can give me some tips that would be absolutely fantastic. With it being so hot, most of the time I just feel most comfortable like walking around the house in bra and knickers because having material on my skin when I'm really hot it seems to really irritate me and 
it's just so funny I don't know if you've seen the film um, what to expect when you're expecting but there's a woman in that film and she's like wanting to you know um, be pregnant for ages and she gets pregnant she's so happy but she seems she seems to get like all of the worst like possible symptoms and I just feel like that at the moment it just feels like all of the worst bits I'm getting and I am just so ready to have this baby but obviously I've got quite a bit of time to go yet my back I'm getting quite a lot of um, lower back pain. I'm really struggling to get off the bed at times now. I feel like a beached whale. <laughs> Literally, I'm like trying to rock myself to get out of the bed or I've got like aches, aches and pains everywhere. Um, I haven't had a magnesium flake bath for quite a while because of how hot it's been. I've just been having showers. Um, but I just, I think what it is, a lot of the time is I'll fall asleep on my side and that's fine but then I'll find myself waking up in the night on my back and then it's like all the babies just put pressure on my back so I think that's one of the main reasons why it's happening I don't know if it's because it's like my third pregnancy or because like I'm gonna be I'll be 37 soon um, yeah I don't know what it is but I just feel like wow it's really really taking its toll on my body this pregnancy I'm finding it like quite difficult at times but like I've you know always said I'm really really happy to be pregnant but it's just sometimes it can just become really really overwhelming and yeah just really really tiring but I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it won't be long until the baby's here so that's great so yeah so the chafing, so there's the chafing, there's the incontinence there's the constant just getting hot, swollen feet, swollen hands. My emotions have been up and down recently quite a lot. And I just I just feel like overwhelmed with everything. I don't think it's so much the pregnancy, but I just feel like time is going go is going so quickly. I was dedicating a lot of time to obviously sorting the house out to move and then I was doing my studying and what I've decided to do that it there was it just felt that obviously I had a lot going on and um, that I've decided to defer my studies so that I can just take some time out to you know to sort sort the house have the baby look after the children and then come back and finish my final piece and then hand it in next year so I'm hoping that that will go to plan it seems to making that decision it has seemed to make me feel a lot more relaxed and chilled out so yeah I think it was the right decision I'm still being sick sometimes in the morning and throughout the day I'm still feeling quite nauseated. I am trying to eat a lot more fruit and I've bought some coconut water because I've heard that's good for like the electrolytes. Like my husband sent me like a, a video about like the benefits of having it when you're pregnant. So I'm going to start incorporating that. I did want to start making some like juices or um, like some smoothies but I've packed everything away for the move. So I think when we move I'm going to start having just lots more um, smoothies and juices because I think with the hot weather and with me just being so fussy with food again it just feels like I've diverted back to the first trimester again it's just absolutely it's just crazy I have my consultant appointment next week I think I told you about that so I will be making a video about that and I'll be doing the essential oil next week because I really I'm really concerned that once we move I'm not going to have access to the internet for a couple of weeks I think I told you this last week anyway if you've watched that video so if if by any chance next week there's not a 33 week update and there's just a video about essential oils or um, I plan on doing a video on being pregnant in winter versus <laughs> summer as well so if you see one of them videos and you, then that's me um, not having access to the internet but hopefully the following week or the week after that i'll have to put the like 33 34 week um update together um if you have any questions or um any comments and please leave them below thank you so much for the support it's just so nice to to see um you know there's a lot more subscribers and viewers and yeah i'm just blown away i'm really really happy and i just hope that 
um, anyone watching these videos is finding um, it useful so yeah thanks for watching and I'll just show you my bump and then I'll get going <laughs> yep so there's the bump thanks for watching if you did like this video and you'd like more then please can you click this uh, please can you click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye